Shepherd of a soul, Savior of a soul, Lover of a soul. We are on the Lord's side. We will never give up. We are overcome. Not to eat, drink, and no, where destruction is near. Say it again. Lord Jesus, whatever that will make me. I'm not knowing that destruction is near. I just want to go this thing that I'm going to It's far from me. Well, thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, help me not to live a life of eating and drinking, not knowing that destruction is here. And this is exactly the life that the people are living today. The life of merriment. The life of eating and drinking. When I invite people Come and join me to celebrate the birthday, the church will be full. When I invite people, come and eat and dance with me, everyone will be full. But invite them to come and hear the word of the Lord. Come on, Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That reminds me of Matthew chapter 24. Verse 25, then, Father, I ask you to speak to us as you wish in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, not my word, but your word. Father, let our ears be open by force, by fire to hear you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, you have given us a place to always hear you. And not to eat and wait, so the destruction is near. Speak to us, O God. Amen. In that way that we all we understand. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I know if not everybody, one or two people are ready to hear you. Speak to me, Lord. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. According to that prayer, it is written in Matthew 24, from verse 35. The heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. 36. But on that day and hour, knoweth no man. No, not the angel of heaven, but my father only. Verse 37. Let's get this clear. But are the days of Noah, but are the days of Noah where? So shall also the coming of the Son 
compagnie for as the days that were before the flood, as the day that were before the flood, maybe three days before, two days before the flood, where they were eating. But as in the days where before the flood were, they, no, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, giving birth and doing everything they know how to do until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And you know, verse 29, and you know, until the Lord, why they were eating, why they were drinking. It would make me, even on that day, a man of God was doing many things for the time. On that day, maybe men of God were giving in to marriage. And everybody was expecting to eat chicken or whatever on that day. And the Bible says, and you know, until the flood came and took them all the way. The pastor, the diggers, and everyone that was there were taken away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. The question is this Are you ready to eat, drink, and end up here? That is the question for you today. The question for me and for you and for everyone that here to listen is this Am I ready to eat, drink, and be flooded into her? The message before this morning is titled The Never Crowded Road of Holiness. The Never Crowded Road of Holiness. As I was sitting here just now, a spirit of God ministered to me. He said, I should ask every woman here that I've ever given birth. Is there any woman here? That ever gave birth to two children at the same time, two of them passed two and came at the same time. No. Has it ever been done? No. Thank God, my wife has given four children now. Is there any time in history that a woman will give birth and two children will come out at the same time? It has never been. And he said, that is how it is to enter his kingdom, everybody one after the other. The road of holiness, the road to God's kingdom, is a never crowded road. From the beginning of creation till now, it has been one one. It has been only two people that have been made, making it. And so it will be in our time. It was in my mind that when I come today, I want to preach the message that everybody will be jumping up because of the very, very ceremony of, of the day we have today. But I know how everything came about. But he said to me, no, don't go in the way of the hidden. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Brethren, it is written in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 6. Thank you, Mr. Jeremiah, Jeremiah, chapter 6, 9, 10 to 15. Jeremiah 6, 10 to 15. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Jeremiah 10, 6. Of the night, Jesus. 10 to 16, verse 10. 10 to 15. 10 to 16. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ears is uncircumcised, and they cannot hear him. Behold, the word of the Lord is unto them a reproach. They have not the light they hate. 11. Therefore, I am full of the fury of the Lord. I am weary with the Holy 
holy name, I will pour it out upon the children abroad and upon the assembly of young men together. For even the husband with the wife shall be taken, the aged with him that is full of days. Verse 12. And their houses shall be turned unto others with their field and wives together. For I will stretch out my hand upon the inheritance of the land, said the Lord 13. For from the least of them, even unto the greatest of them, everyone is given to covetousness. And from the prophet, even unto the priest, everyone delights falsely. 14. They have healed also the heart of the daughter of the people slightly, saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace, 15. Where they are shamed when they had committed abomination. Nay, they were not at all ashamed. Neither could they trust their therefore they shall fall among them that fall. At the time that I visit them, they shall be cast down, say the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Brother, this is the state of the church today. This is the state of the people that want to enter the kingdom of God today. People who will not hear the word of the Lord. The Bible says in the sense, to whom shall I speak? I give warning. Who will hear? That they may hear. Behold, their ears is all set aside, and they cannot hear him. Behold, the word of the Lord is not of them a reproach. They have no delight in it. And yet they want to enter the kingdom of God. Yet they want to be a better Christ on that day. See the way to heaven? No. The Bible says in verse 12, verse 13, from, from the least, all evil, all to the greatest of them, everyone is given to consciousness. And from the prophets, all to the priests, Everyone delayed first forty. Everyone are living in sin and yet we want to enter the kingdom of God. Everyone are living in sin and yet we are expecting to enter the kingdom of God for that day. And the Lord has said in this morning to tell every one of us as it has been from the beginning. So shall it also be in this day. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In the day of Enoch, only Enoch was taken. In the days of Enoch, the Bible said Enoch walked with the Lord, and he was not for the Lord took it. Out of many generations, only one person was taken. In the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, only three people were taken. The road of holiness has never been crowded. The road to enter the kingdom of God has never been crowded. Is that when a woman is given is a slow and steady pace, one after the other. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Brother is written in Second Peter. He said we can also go there. Second Peter chapter 2, 1 to 5. Second Peter 2, 1 to 5. Second Peter 2, 1 to 5. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. But there were false prophets also among the people. Even as there shall be false teachers among you, who briefly shall bring a damnable heresy, even deny the Lord that has brought that bought them and bring upon themselves sweet destruction too. And many shall follow their pernicious way, by reason of whom the way of the truth shall be evil spoken of three. And true covetousness shall they with fake words make merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. For, for if God spared not the angel that sinned, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. Five, and spare not the old world, but save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. Amen. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It has always been so. The only place you always see there will be many is where destruction has come. The Bible says in verse 2, chapter 2 of 2 Peter, and many shall follow their ways, and many shall follow their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the, the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. When it comes to good evil, many shall follow the way. And when it comes to judgment, the Bible says only eight of them that were delivered. And I tell you here today, my beloved brothers and sisters, if you also want to be delivered, you must prepare yourself in all holiness. Let me tell you something. The Lord is not concerned about the business of people in the world. The Lord is only concerned about the only few that are waiting for him. The Lord is not concerned about how many people are living in the world. The Lord has always been concerned about those who are ready to live the life he desires to live. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And true covetousness shall deal with fine words. Make merchandise of you. Good judgment now is a long time legal not, and that damnation slumbers not. The damnation is at hand. But the problem I am having with church today, you that know nothing, Okay. You that know nothing, will you also be destroyed with them? You that is an innocent child of God, who desire to enter the kingdom of God, will you allow them to use their fine words to destroy you? The Bible told us in the book of Matthew chapter 7, it says again, verse 13, this is the word of Christ himself. Enter ye at the straight gate. Why do you call it the straight gate? Because it is the gate of the truth. Enter ye at the straight gate. Why? For why is the gate? And broad is the way that leads to destruction. And many, and many, are there be which go in the road. The road of destruction is so wide, and there are many people that are packing in the rain. Why? Because you are allowed to come the brutus and enter in. You are allowed to come the rest. No matter the purpose it decides, no matter what you do to yourself. The road to the social will accommodate you. No matter the kind of life you want to live, Satan is, is laughing, saying, Yes, yeah, do it. Know why? Because the road is big enough to accommodate you. But I tell you today, if you want to enter the kingdom of God, you must do away with anything God said. The Lord is talking here in verse 14. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leads them unto life. And few it has always been so. The road has never been crowded. The road to heaven, yesterday I went to evangelism my, my brethren. If you see the streets, you can see how they are trooping in thousands and thousands on the street. How many people they are talking about God? Just only a few people. And look at them. They were making mockery of us. It has always been so. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Because strength is the gate and narrow is the way. It can never contain anything. We leave them out of life. A few deputies that fight it. 15. 
the hair of false prophet, which come to you in sheep clothing, or in what they are raving wolves. Matthew 7 13 to 15. I'll tell you, it doesn't matter. For every life will be living. For God is God. For God does not care. He loves you so much. And our Lord Jesus Christ, that I tell you, love you so much. He's saying, the only people I want to welcome on that day are people who live a holy and righteous life. The Bible told us in Luke chapter 13. Luke chapter 13, verse 34. Luke 13, 24. Try even. Try even. Work hard. Why study? Do everything to take away sin from your life. You know why? Every now and then, the Lord is repeating one message every time, every day, so that in case you send yourself to hell, you will have many records to be clear to you. In the morning, you will say it. In the afternoon, you will say it. In the night, you will say it. So that when you get to that place, after the emergency, you have many records that will be placed to you on that day. And I pray that will not be a portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Try to enter in and strike it for many. I say unto you, we seek to enter in and shall not be able. They seek to enter with their load of sin. They seek to enter with the, the load of worldliness. You want to be worldly and godly at the same time. You want to be holy and unholy at the same time. And yet, you want to enter the kingdom of God. It's a lie. It's a lie. You cannot be worthy and enter in. If the heaven we want to go, if the heaven that I put the poor enter in, it's, it's a difficult one. If the heaven we want to go, if the heaven that to take angels, they drop down, they chase away from because of their rebellion. And you want to enter in to the rebellion, it's a lie. And what the man says is what? It's a lie. If the heaven you and I want to go, if the heaven that end up that walk with God in holiness, want to enter with worldliness, it's a lie. Except it's another heaven we are prepared to go. And I pray the Lord will help me and you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible says, the Lord is speaking here in Luke chapter 14. Luke 14, 26 to 27. If any man come to me, I hate not his father. He said, I love Jesus Christ so much. We will not bet him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He will not bet. You know why? There's nothing you can give to him. He's in charge. When he takes the truth, you know, take it, in you go. But if you take it, it's for your own good. If any man come to me, I hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life also. You know why I say his own life also? You will find a way to make up. I <laughs> no, I cannot make up. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You will find a way to lose money. To buy whatever car you buy. Because of the hatred of yourself. Say, no, I am not it. I will not give it to you. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. As a woman or as a girl, just as they are doing now, are they? You can see a girl pray. A Buddhist is not like my own. By like tomorrow, go and say again. It's like mountain. Why? Because they are gone to pump it out. But you, because you hate yourself, I don't want myself to be, to be celebrated that way. You live your life the way God created it. You can see some people today 
See some girls today. You see their breast. No man. Come and look at them tomorrow. Like draw. When they are not working, their head, their, their chest is looking up. Why? They want to be what? Celebrated. But the best thing, you must hate yourself. Don't go in the way of the sinners. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And he said, verse 37 of Luke 14, And whoso does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciples. Are you ready to be a cross? You cannot carry a cross and be laughing. So you're hearing me. Yes, you cannot carry the cross and be smiling. You cannot carry them and be laughing. You cannot laugh no why because the weight is heavy. But today, many people who are entitled to heaven will carry the cross. <laughs> it is not possible. That load of sin must drop it and carry the cross for the Lord. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. What is the use? And the member said, after you have enjoyed this life, at the end, you end up in hell. And as I said in the morning, what? Most you not preach without mentioning hell. I must mention, you know why? Because you have only two destinations heaven or hell. You must meet any of them. So now, and as this is our day of Saturday now, what will be her day? After she had maintained herself for 40 years, and uh, God forbid, 40 million years he passed in agony, burning, burning, and burning. That will be a portion in the name of Jesus Christ. So, what do we do? We must follow those who are ready to pass through the library. The Bible tells us in Luke chapter 18. If you think you are the only one that God only is alive, people have gone through it. And I am of the man that I must also go through it and I will make it at the end of my journey in the name of Jesus Christ. Luke 18, verse 28. Then Peter said, Lo, we have left all and followed him. But today, we want to pack all and follow him. We have left all and followed him. But today, the pastors are saying, no, carry all and we follow. Verse 39. I said unto them, Verily I said unto you, there is no man that left the house and parents or brethren or wife or children for the kingdom of God's sake. Oh, if you understand what the kingdom of God is, you'll be happy to leave everything for it. You'll be happy to do whatever the Lord asks to do for it. Who shall not receive many for God in this present time and in the world to come? Life everlasting. And I pray, whatever we do, put away to end this kingdom, the Lord will give us the grace to do it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So what do we do? The Bible is telling us in Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you therefore, brethren, if you want to enter the kingdom of God, by the mercy of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, not a dead one. Present your body on touch, on device, even on earth yet. Present your body. Sometimes, that's why I have you watch. I'm not trying to, to, to say I know I know that men of God. I have you watch people's message, especially when, when Christians are dancing. It will me. Sometimes, when you see a Christian dancing unto the Lord, Every time by the is forced. 
every day by the woman or the man in faith, and yet they are seeking unto the Lord. But God is saying, present your body a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your own reasonable service. Today, people are rendering unreasonable service to God as they want to enter the kingdom of God. Which kingdom are you going to? On that day, every eye will be clear. God will help us on this mountain in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Matthew 10, 33. Matthew 10, 33. But whosoever shall deny me before my man, he will also deny before my father, which is heaven. If you deny him of his holiness, he has told you, he has told us, he is perfect as the heavenly father is perfect. But you are saying, no, nobody can be perfect. Don't mind that boy. He's a madman. He's a madman. On that day, you shall do his man. During the time of Jeremiah, he was a madman. Nobody ever preached to holiness message. He was not a great man. During the time of uh, 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 Jeremiah, he was a madman. Ezekiel was a madman. Everyone that ever preached the message of holiness, everyone that ever separated themselves from the Lord, they had always been called madman. In my time, I was always I was also called to praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Bible told you and I in Ephesians chapter 1, this one. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. According as he has chosen us, it is before the foundation. According as he has chosen us, it is here before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and uh, without blemish. That we should be holy and uh, without blame before him in love. And we go to Ephesians 5 and 7. He said, It's coming for those who are without spot or blemish. Sister, brother, they are coming here today to celebrate the birth of a new baby. But do we do it at the end of the hell? God forbid. God forbid. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And we that those are the just people. What about when? I put up the, the baby now. The name of the baby is what? And um, that the same place. Put it away. And the here. God forbid. God forbid. What That's why he said to me, don't go in the ways of the hidden. Search yourself now. The parent of that baby, search yourself. The minister of this mountain, search yourself. Are we on that narrow way? Are we on that narrow way? Is there anything in our life that is it dragging us into the way of destruction? Let's do a way now. Are you a thruster? Repent. What is that sin you are living in? Please repent. The Bible says they were eating and drinking. They never knew destruction. Is yeah. Yeah. Brethren, the destruction of this world is near. As we are talking now, many are dying. Many are dying for the past year. Set yourself. If the Lord has never allowed anyone is sin to enter his kingdom, he will not be the first person. Sister. I put it in. Tell my people. If the Lord has never allowed anyone to end his kingdom of sin, I put the Bible in the first person. Search yourself today. Don't smile into hell. Don't laugh into hell. It's better we are crying now. And at the end, we start smiling. Now we smile now, we marry now, and in the end, we jump into hell, God forbid. I want you to be on your feet. 
The roads are not be crowded. Sister, I think you have always been one, one, one. One, 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 we came into this world. One, 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 we also please our seven from that day. How will you meet the Lord on that day? How will you present yourself before him on that day? Beloved, every load of sin I'm carrying, known and alone. Yes, I am living, I am eating. I can see poop puree on the floor and eat and eat without constant eat. I die now. What happened? I can see put a bowl of rice and finish it. If I die now, what will happen? Lord, search me and remove every word of sin from me. Because I will present myself to you in no desert time. Open your mouth and pray. Amen. Lord, Jesus Christ, See what the Lord told us in Revelation chapter 5. Brother, the Revelation chapter 22, verse 11. Revelation 22, 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust till I run for you. To repent. And he which is guilty, let him be filled with you. I run for you. To repent. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still, if not a fault. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Then go. It means to follow holy. Hmm? Sir, if people are not holy, we will not say it. No. Ma, are you with me? He that is holy, be holy still. It means for people are holy. In the future, if you want to be in the field, keep on in the field. Make yourself, make yourself beautiful. Make yourself beautiful. If you see the whole world is not allowed to love you as you go. You want to go up for the rest. Don't come with it. It's allowed. If you see the whole world do your hip, so you're not like, go out and make your hip. Do it. It's allowed. It's allowed. It's allowed. It's allowed. The body of man is so elastic. Do whatever you do to make your come back home. For a long time, the whole man has gone. The whole man has seen me. He will be seen. I'm going to you. Keep on doing it. Say, bro, if you like, I'm going to creep on this call. So that man will rob you. Some people don't go and put some, they will pin the face away. I don't see them. I don't know what they are rubbing. Don't rub it. Do not kill it. Say, what is this? That's how you dress. If anything you want to do, do so that you want to do it. <laughs> hey. I want to pray. Lord, if I am future, I will not be future still. If I am a just, I don't want to be a just. Father, I want to be holy. Lord, I want to be holy. Make me holy, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. 
Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my God and my Savior, O Lord. Father, and as we are praying with our mouth, I pray with sincerity of heart, the Lord answer your eyes. And Amen. Only in Jesus Christ, mighty name. Amen. Are you out there? You are not born again. Now, heard the word. Maybe the mother or the father of the child of God that we are dedicated today invited you. Maybe you want to, you expect to hear the message of John and Dad. But now, you have heard the message of life. You want to give that to Christ before it's too late? Say this word after me. Say, Lord Jesus Christ, I've heard you. Before now, I thought I can come to the way I am and remain where I am. Have mercy upon me for living a deceptive life before now. Forgive me all my sins, O God. Just as I repent of them. Take my name away from the book of the condemned and write it in the book of life. Because from, from henceforth, you are my Lord and personal Savior. All things are passed away and all things are become me. I receive the grace today to keep living the life of holiness and righteousness so that I will see you on that day in glory in Jesus Christ mighty name. Amen. 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 Thank you if you are a prophetic profession. Father, I thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father, for this gospel that I've heard the word and that I decided to give the letter to you. Father, I pray that you help them Check it there and give them the grace to run this race to the end in holiness in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And who wish to remain in you, grant all the grace to hold up to the end in Jesus Christ's mighty name we are praying. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All oh, is good. Oh, God. 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 A.K.A. the Shepherd and the Bishop of Our Souls Ministries Worldwide.